I'm gonna quickly show you the three class setups that I made. If you clicked onto the video just to see them, here's the first one. Here is the second one. And here is the third one. If that is all you came for, I hope you have a nice day. Take care. I'm going to talk about why I took the attachments I did. Talk a bit about the perks that you can use that will go well with the cell. Then I'll show some gameplay too where I dropped the nuke. I think I went like 61 to 1. The funny thing is as well, like my girlfriend was sleeping next to me and I I couldn't commentate. I was like listening to music, just vibing out, chilling, playing games. And I checked my... I'm like, how many kills am I on? And I'm like, I'm 31 and all. I'm like, oh, holy shit. Like, I'm so close to a nuke. And then, yeah, no, I just pushed out for a nuke. Um, no commentary in the gameplay though. So just a little heads up. <sighs> Okay, let's talk about the attachments. Now, the reason why this gun isn't liked by many people is because the fire rate is too slow. Immediately when you unlock this attachment, you can just completely take that issue out of the window. However, this is going to reduce your damage range by one and your bullet will spare one. Also, it's going to de destroy your recoil, but we will get to that anyway. But the key point here is the damage range and the velocity. So, for example, if I'll, I'll show it to you like this. If we take the long range barrel, we go to the firing range. One, two, three, four. Great kills in four shots if we take the reinforced barrel go to the firing range one two three four great kills in the same amount of distance right but however you need to understand that this is on the reinforced barrel is only getting a plus one right and this is going to reduce your damage range by plus one <laughs> sorry by minus one so it's going to completely negate the damage bonus that you uh the damage range bonus that you get from your barrel and then it's going to make it a five shot kill so that is exactly why we cannot take the reinforced barrel if we are using the rapid fire mod i know you get this attachment super later on into the game so if you don't have it yet don't panic don't worry just um yeah just just hold it out i'll give you a setup to the end the third class setup was for you guys anyway but i'll get to that in just a second but for those of you that have this gun maxed out you definitely want to take the uh, long range barrel because that way we do get the uh, plus two damage range bonus and then with the rapid fire you can kill with one less bullet so yeah that is exactly why we're taking the two attachments now as i already said um the recoil is getting destroyed so we have two choices if you're good at control and recoil by all means take suppressor first try out suppressor okay if it works out for you if you can control the gun keep suppressor around if it, if, it, if uh, granted if suppressor isn't working out for you and the guns are moving around all over the place and you cannot control it please 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 do take the ported compensator the reason why i'm a firm believer on taking suppressor is because like i i believe strongly in taking ninja and taking ghost and taking a suppressor because i want to eliminate all the sensors that a player can have that will help them kill you whether it's just them looking up at the radar and seeing you on the map them using their turtle beach and hearing you look listen guys it's like 2024 now everyone has a turtle beach this isn't like back in the day when turtle beaches were super expensive bro you can plug in your earphones and still like there's some good quality just like earphones you can plug into your controller now and hear people i remember that's what i was doing before when i couldn't afford one and it's it, i was still playing super super good so taking a suppressor is key now let's talk about the under barrel now for the under barrels um really only do have two choices here um either the vertical foregrip if you're really really early onto the levels but if you got the gun maxed out then definitely you want to take the ranger foregrip it's going to give you literally the same plus two horizontal recoil control but additionally it is going to help you sprint faster as well so because and because you have an smg you're going to be playing like a russian kind of play style and up in people's faces and that is going to help you out a lot whereas you get in a way or just get into the enemies that is exactly why we're taking the range of foregrip now i know there is the precision foregrip as well that you can take um if you unlock this obviously and it's better than taking the vertical foregrip so if you unlock the precision one please do take that one as well it's just i mainly save this for my assault rifles so i mean if you unlock it before you unlock the range of foregrip then you get it. okay now let's talk about the stock which is going to be our last attachment and the reason why i'm not taking an extended mag is because i do believe that the stock makes a massive difference and the stock is just amazing i feel like the stock is more vital than the magazine attachment so that is exactly why we're taking the stock over the extended mag attachment which is going to be the balanced stock this stock is just amazing i don't even want to talk about this for too long you could just see on the stats right now what it's giving you it's giving you a massive plus two on almost everything and just just put it on and see for yourself i, I, I don't even want to talk about it. it's just disgusting and it's what you need on every single S, uh, smg that you i even use it on some of my assault rifles like like i said some attachments change depending on the category of guns you're using it on but the minute i see a plus two on all these stats i'm putting on there no questions right so that is the setup now just to not clear not to confuse you guys the first setup was this anyway and the second setup was with the recoil control which i did tell you guys hey if you can't use the suppressor please do use the recoil control one and the third one was if you didn't if you did not unlock the rapid fire attachment right because i know you unlocked this pretty late it's for you guys that are still early on into the levels i would recommend you to take any form of extended mag right you can take the first extended mag or you can take the second one but i would just recommend like any extended mag it depends on how much of a good player you are too if you can't kill hordes of people or like five if you're not a good player by all means just take a, a flip mag or something i don't know you don't need an extended mic if you're not going to kill that many people but for example i would flank an 
entire team on headquarters i know I, I have the ability to kill the entire team that is why i do need the extended mic for me personally not to flex on you guys but yeah <laughs> but if you don't need it then yeah sure you could even take a rare grip attachment you can even take like a uh a commando grip as well which will make you aiming quicker as well help you when you're gunfights and obviously do not forget to take the suppressor too so if you're still in the early levels and you don't have rapid fire you could go for either this one or even like a setup like this as well with any of the extended mag attachments like i said right now let's talk about the perks the secondaries and everything else that i can now okay so for the secondary uh, use the best gun you can i would say this to you guys too uh, this gun right here is a cheese if you can go to zombies and level this up to the max and get a kimbo on it if you have a kimbo of these guns you can one shot people if you shoot them both at the same time obviously you can just instantly kill someone and it feels like they're getting shot by a shotgun um so you can have like a one shot thing at your sidearm if you are getting pushed i would say that a kimbo of the gs45 is the best sidearm you can get in the entire game anyway in terms <clears throat> jeez in terms of a pistol but you can also get a kimbo um great cover i i that I'm probably butchering it, but yeah, you can get a Kimbo this as well, which is what I'm kind of going for at the moment. But even me, like I'm only a level nine and I've been using this for a while and I need to get to a level 32, man. Like it's, the only thing I can tell you guys is to go to zombies and use it there to level these pistols up because it's honestly hell trying to level them up in like multiplayer. As for the melee, you can go for whatever you want. Um, now for the tacticals, obviously you want to take a stim shot. Stim shot is great, but don't forget we are going to be taking the enforcer, which means after we kill, we are going to be healing up uh, immediately. Anyway, we're going to be getting a movement speed and we're also going to be healing up so maybe you might be like you know what taking a stim shot will be overkill that's perfectly fine as well if you want to do that then you could take whatever else you want as for my lethal i always do take a blast trap why that is because if you can see in the gameplay clips as well like a blast trap a claymore or whatever you want to call them they are the best teammates you can have they don't let you down they do their job they don't look away they don't get you killed like they do their job okay and they're, they are like literally like the best teammate you can have on this game on all cards you can see in the clip too like how i play and how i use it and how i like move around with them and we are going to be taking the assault pack too just so we don't run out of ammo and so we can refresh our like you know claymores and stuff now let's talk about the perks as long as you have all red perks you can unlock enforcer the specialty enforcer and like i said once you get a kill you immediately start healing for those of you guys that know nothing about me which is probably all of you <laughs> because no one really watches my videos <laughs> the quick fix is my favorite perk and yeah as soon as you get a kill you can heal up but this time not only do you have quick fix you have a movement speed boost for some reason i have no idea why they added this movement speed buff as well usually it's just a health regen thing so like as soon as you get a kill your health would start regening like it naturally would but it just feels like you're healing up after every kill you know but yeah now this year for some reason they added a movement speed buff as well which is just uh, it's just disgusting like I, I okay cool sure we'll take it uh in terms of what perks you want to take exactly I definitely do not take scavenger you do not need that you got the ammo box anyway for you with your field upgrade you, you can take this it, but the only thing with this is it's just motion weapon motion while jumping and sliding it's just motion so for me i feel like i haven't really used it but i feel like it's just makes it easier for you to do those actions I and mean, it looks easier but i don't really struggle with doing it anyway however this actually improves something and gives you something it lets you sprint while reloading and yeah when you're using your equipment and stuff like that it's just much better overall i go with assassin i don't have bruiser even if i did have bruiser i would not be using bruiser i have not met a single soul that used bruiser in this game <laughs> no one's using bruiser <laughs> if you are you are a demon you need to go get baptized go to your local church and confess to your sins because th this is disgusting if you're using it enemies on a kill streak will have a bounty on them as soon as you kill them you'll get extra points for your score streaks pretty good i use double time help me run to places and get out of places quicker i can use this and to start off with immediately 150 score off the bat but i feel like this will save my life and help me in more situations than just that if you're not a good player take this this will help you out get do the uav and the count uav method and yeah you'll be fine now as for my wild card i actually don't have much unlocked here but if i did i would be taking perk greed and going for ninja you unlock perk greed super super late so i'm guessing most of you aren't gonna have like you know perk greed either and the issue is ghost and ninja are in the same category or they're both in perk one so you kind of need perk greed another set of perks that you can go with as well by all means is like i said i already spoke about it before about the importance of ninja and ghost but like i just said as well you don't have perk greed until really really later on so but i'll still say anyway if you can run ghost and then run um any one of the blue ones and then any like I'd, I'd say go for this one because a lot of people call in counting uavs i know cold blooded is good because it will hide you from the helicopters and stuff like that like the attack helicopters that your feeding teammates spawn in but there there's a lot more counting uavs and stuff like that you know and you're also immune to the sleep agent too so it makes it really funny when you kill them they're like oh my god how did you know <laughs> it's like yeah i'm using this perk they don't know how you can see them you can do that go all blue have ninja ghost and then a silence weapon as well and hide yourself from everything or or you could say you know what i don't mind being on the 
the radar i'll take perk greed with all reds here just so i can get the healing buff which is disgusting and i'll take perk greed and then i'll get ninja just so they don't hear my footsteps and worst case if they're calling a uav they can see me on the uav that would also work out too which is probably what i'm going to do especially with an smg because i think if you're running an smg you need these red perks as well it's, it's very hard honestly but whichever way you go i would, I would completely understand why let's talk about the score streaks if you're not a good player i would recommend you to go for the scout pulse uav and counter uav this will give you so much points anyway in the game every time your friends get a kill you will get a, you'll get points for it however if you want to get an actual kill streak with it and you don't just want to be like a uav support spamming like you know bitch boy then that's completely fine you can go for a uav counter uav and um the watchdog kilo this is a good sub too quick thing that i should mention to my bang outs and my sweaty sweaty nerds out there is that if you are playing solo the interceptors are not a kill streak you should be sleeping on with me whenever i go in solo i enter some heavy heavy thick juicy kim kardashian level thickness of sbmm and i'm outnumbered i'm like up against like four versions of me and i you know it's super super hard and my teammates are always feeding <laughs> Like I think I'll, I'll, I'll try and show a, like a clip on screen, but I went into a game and it's just, it was just absolutely horrible, man. Like my teammates were just doing absolutely nothing, and yeah, like the interceptors will come in clutch because they can take out any kill streak in the air, whether it's a blackbird, a chopper gunner, a harp, a dreadnought, whatever it is, it'll take it out. So if you if you're playing solo, definitely, definitely do consider taking the interceptor. That is what I do. Another good kill streak would be a sentry gun, just like a teammate. If you want to keep people out of certain areas or to control zones, it will help out a lot. But it, place in the down can be long and stuff that is about it i think i covered all areas i tried to get through it as fast as i can so if i did speak fast i do apologize my name is zephyr i hope you enjoyed this video i am gonna get into the gameplay right now so if you do want to stick around and watch the video then feel free until next time guys i'll see you guys later take care
Everyone, we earned that. 